This is my truck. Or should I say, was. Blown transmission. 430,000 on the clock. This junkyard bound death scene will play out in all of our driveways at some point. There's no escaping it. Like a man's best friend, our precious piston powered partner in crime is about to meet its maker. Hey, hold the phone. Now what? What am I gonna do next? Do you go gas, diesel, buy new, used? Amounts often to a second mortgage. It's nuts. Hey, selling off your body parts, and pawning off your treasured man cave. It doesn't even cover skyrocketing fuel, insurance, and maintenance costs. Second hand? That didn't work out the last time. Then, there it is. The unspoken question. We keep denying it, but it circles like a vulture, ready to prey on our aging beast, hovering over its head gaskets. Try as we might to purge it from our minds. The twitten chief concocted stainless steel electric door wedge thing with smashed windows. Oh my God. It's out there, ready to ruin everything traditionally truck. Which brings us to this moment, standing at the crossroads, staring at a chunk of failing automotive history, contemplating an electric truck. No! You love trucks, all trucks. You haul and tow, snow wheel and off-road, take the kiddies to softball practice, and your sweetie to lover's lookout. Ooh. This channel is all about how the truck is changing, but not the lifestyle. We're loaded up, kitted out, and ready to roam. That's a fact. But are we ready for the future? Welcome to Trucked Up EVs. The idea both fascinates and disgusts us. A truck that never needs gas. Planet lovers rifle off a rapid fire list of why these electric trucks are superior in almost every way. Really? Sounds like someone trying to sell us a triple patty falafel filled nothing burger. Let's make a list of the claims for and against these mythical beasts. First, those in favor. The big one is EVs have fewer moving parts and thus, theoretically, fewer things to go wrong. No motor oil, transmission fluid, no transmission, no spark plugs, tune-ups. Heck, the list is long, unnaturally long. They say electric motors run forever with little to no maintenance. There are hydro plant turbines that have been running for over a century. Huh. But everybody blabs about the torque. Seemingly unlimited and directly to the wheels at any speed. That sounds darn right truckish. The techies also <laughs> say EVs are over 90% efficient compared to fossil fuel engines, chugging in at around 30%, getting a lot more out of what you put in. We're also talking insane speeds, often approaching hypercar levels in a frickin' truck. These things have incredible towing power, it's claimed, barely feeling the load from launch to highway, even while driving up hill for crying out loud. They can drive in water up to a meter deep, frickin' boat, with no ill effects since the batteries are super sealed and there's no engine or exhaust to flood. Battery pundits claim they designed them to last hundreds of thousands of miles, with some companies professing they're making million mile batteries. And after a lifetime as a truck battery, the solar industry can use them for another decade or so. In the end, over 90% of all the materials can be recycled and just used again. From where I come from, driving with one pedal will get you face first into a cow patty. But this regen thingy basically recharges your batteries whenever you take your foot off the, uh, well, I was gonna say gas, which also means the brakes last much longer. When's the last time you drove your truck around and it fueled itself? That's just mental. These newfangled pickups supposedly have crap piles of storage space, and I mean buckets of the stuff. Actually, uh, according to the notes, a frunk full of it, whatever the heck that means. And lastly, you can charge from home or on the road at a fraction of the cost of filling up with gas or diesel. Wow, what kind of unholy voodoo crap is this anyway? But wait, we haven't heard from the traditional combustion or bust camp yet. Here's some of the claims against electric trucks that they've made. The batteries can catch fire. Yep, we've all seen the memes. Ka-boom, ba-boom-boom. 
They have also tiny little truck beds. Compensating for something with big ones? I don't know. But these ones sure don't measure up. Companies such as GM, Tesla, Hyundai, and Ford have already had serious issues with their EV lines. Lots of recalls, wheels falling off, false starts, and empty promises have a lot of people wondering what kind of manure they might find their foot in. EV range is not anywhere near equivalent to internal combustion ice trucks. It's just simple math. And due to their lower range, they can't tow very far, which poses another problem. How in the heck do you hook up at a charging station with a monster trailer behind your electric pickup? And having a supposedly abysmal charging infrastructure... Oh yeah, is this a surprise? Sure in the heck ain't helping adoption. EVs suck in the cold, they say. Sure, so does any mechanical apparatus. But hey, throw your cell phone in the freezer. Let me know how that works out for you. But really, none of this matters as much as price. Costs are really starting to come down as competition heats up. And there's even a greater force to be reckoned with. <coughs> Not that way. Forget throwing ball bearings at that triangle thingy with wheels. Governments are slinging buckets of free cash our way. And that gets one wondering, how long will that party last? Should we grab the free dough while the trough is full or wait it out? What kind of red-blooded trucker trust these days anyway? There's a ton of videos already out there on range tests, charge tests, cold weather tests, speed tests, noise tests, cup holder tests, leg room tests, headroom tests, and junk in my front tests. You get the idea. I mourn the loss of gas fumes, the rev of a fully aspirated metal stallion, hoses and mechanics that over the years will slowly evaporate my credit line. Will this so-called EV revolution rob me of my love of all things truck? The good news is that right here on this channel, we'll find out if this is a horse and buggy Model T turning point in history or just a lot of hot Silicon Valley air. Let's get behind the wheel of the future because it's all about the journey, not the destination, which is good because uh, my truck won't start. Make sure to like and subscribe. Stay tuned. Thanks for watching.